Hello students. Today we are going to see the form factor subject unit 3 transmission system. So transmission system there are so many topics are there. Transmission, clutch, gearbox and types of gearbox, differential, final drive and wheels and steering geometry, steering systems, front axle, wheel alignment, brake, brake types and, uh, and all the systems. So coming to the transmission system and its components. Uh, generally now we are going to see transmission system and components what is clutch and its types construction details of the single plate clutch working of single plate clutch and clutch types first of all we are going to see the transmission system um, all, are know, all of you know that what is transmission system already so transmission system is nothing but the power developed by the engine which is transmitted to the real wheels for the propulsion of the vehicle so this is the transmission system. Normally in automobiles, the power is developed by the engine which is used to turn the wheels. Like that, in, in the tractors also, the engine is to be connected to the transmission system for transmitting for the transmission of power, which is to be uh, run the which is used to used for the for running the wheels. So then, next one is elements of transmission system system. So, so we are all know that. Uh, well, the transmission system needs so many components or so many elements which is uh, which is or as clutch gearbox propeller shaft universal joints differential unit final drive and wheels coming to the uh, diagram of the transmission system so uh, the transmission system consists of the engine gearbox propeller shaft differential unit and rear axle so from the engine from the engine to the rear wheel uh, the, the these are the elements which which is to be which uh, which helps to transmit the power from the engine to the rear axle or front axle um, to the wheels so then uh, coming to the functions or purpose of the transmission system so it enables the running engine to be connected or disconnected from the driving wheel smoothly so it, it enables the reduction of engine speeds and it enables the driving wheel to be driven at different speeds it serves as a safety device and so on so clutch clutch is a mechanism used to connect or disconnect the engine from the rest of the elements it is located in between the engine and gearbox so during normal normal running and stationary position it is always in an encased position and then so functions of clutch so it, it transmits the power to the rear wheels it engages the gears where vehicle when the vehicle is in motion and then coming to the characteristics or requirements of a clutch it should be capable of transmitting maximum torque of the engine so the clutch should should have these characteristics uh, the clutch should be able to engage gradually and positively without the occurrence of sudden jerks the clutch should be dynamically balanced in the vibration in the transmission system and so on so coming to the types of clutch there are various types of clutch friction clutch single plate clutch multi plate clutch cone clutch internal cone 